What's up guys, Jake here from HoopRev.com bringing you another Ask Jake episode. Now I know I promise this every Sunday or Monday or by Monday and I think it's pretty clear that I'm not very consistent on it. But yeah, so let's just say for now I'm going to try to do this every week. Uh, but from the previous videos, like whether it be 7, 6, 5, 4, whichever one that you're watching, whatever previous video it is, whatever previous Ask Jake it is, um, yeah, just continue to at least like post the questions on there, even though I haven't followed up directly in a week after. It's just, it's a lame excuse, but I am busy, and uh, this is sometimes hard for me to commit to, especially if I'm, out, if I'm out of town or anything. So, let's get on to it. Ask Jake episode. This is Hookah Q&A, powered by you guys. So you ask the questions, post them in the comments below for the current week's video, uh, and then Amongst you guys, just thumbs up each other's questions to let me know which ones that the, mo the majority of the people want to have answered in next week's. So, yeah, question number one. Alright, so for Lucid, it's pretty straightforward. I have no in my hand. But for Lucid, uh, it's supposed to be ready to go right out of the bag. Uh, there's not a lot of acclimating process necessary, but if you want to, you can also take it out of the package and just smell it, make sure that it's smelling like what it's supposed to smell, uh, and then move it into its appropriate container. So let's go into Noor first. I'll just explain Tangier's Noor because that's primarily the tobacco that you need the, uh, to do the acclimation process for. So what I use, I took one from Eric, not the container itself, but I took this tip from Eric. Uh, he uses these, these are called cube containers. These are pretty widely available. Um, from their website it doesn't make a lot of sense because it's wholesale only, but you can find online like at least like a 50 pack or something like that, or like a 20 pack. Um, and they're just super easy. Why do I like to use these? Because it's a non-permeable material. So if you transfer your tobacco, from the bag to another bag, like a Ziploc. Ziplocs are the worst because it absorbs so much of the moisture um, and it can affect the flavor, it can dry it out faster, believe it or not. Um, but yeah, so Ziplocs, just don't use them. For Tangiers, what you want to do is you want to use a shallow open container like this. This fits about 1.15 kilos of volume, if I remember correctly. So it works perfectly for large amounts of tobacco and even for 250 grams. So this is all it is. Lid, bottom, super easy to label. You can label it on this side or this side. Um, but yeah, what you do is just, you cut open the bag and if it's not ready to go, it's gonna smell like barbecue sauce or soy sauce. Uh, and it really does smell like soy sauce. And uh, yeah, so if it smells like that, it doesn't smell like the flavor on hand to the fullest at least, it's gonna, it's not gonna smoke right, it's not ready yet, it's got some humidity shock, moisture shock. Um, so you, basically what the term acclimating means is you want to acclimate it, you want to get it used to its environment that you're going to be smoking it in. Not the environment that you're going to store it in, which should be similar to where you're smoking it in. Now, I'm not saying like you have to keep the container open in your room, like this room. Um, but yeah, but generally the environment that you're going to be smoking it in. So there's no surefire way, there's no surefire method or length of time it takes to acclimate a flavor. But generally what I do is I pop it open and I prop the lid to the side. I don't ever take it off fully just because I'm afraid it's going to dry out too much. But it depends greatly on your climate. Um, the more humid states, it's going to take a little bit longer for it to acclimate, and sometimes there's certain flavors that just don't jump out of acclimation, which is terrible. It's only happened to me once with a uh, pear. And yeah, that's pretty much it. You typically for me, uh, for some reason, the nor that I get, it when I cut it open, it's ready to go right out of the bag. It smells just like the flavor it's advertised to be. It's ready to go, ready to load. 
basically just put it out and I stir it up a little bit just to get everything, you know, mixed up. Um, but yeah, it's pretty much ready to go. Same thing with Lucid, like I said, just pop it in the container just for better storage. Um, that pretty much sums it up. I mean, there's, like I said, there's no exact time. You just know based on the smell. Let me tell you though, it's extremely hard to dry out tanger, so don't worry about that. Yeah, I think that covers the, uh, the Tangier storage. So continuing on, this kind of relates to what we were just talking about with the Tangiers. Um, but what I like to do is keep it in these containers if possible. Now that doesn't make sense if you're storing like 100 grams. Uh, I'm only going to cover some of the more more popular brands that you guys actually buy. So let's say Starbucks, Fumari, Fantasia, um, Social Smoke, anything like that. They're pretty much okay in that can. A lot of people, they like to take Ziploc bags, put, put the actual bag in there, just so you're not getting Ziploc contact, like I mentioned in the previous question. Uh, and that kind of adds like a double sealing feature. Um, but you, I've, I've even emptied out the whole bag of tobacco in the can and it's been fine. Um, doesn't dry it out too much, I mean, but then again, it varies on how often you smoke. Does it vary brand to brand? Yes. Uh, but like I said, mo more of the popular ones, like even off Ocker, in the containers, the 250 containers that you're going to get, you can just dump all the tobacco in there and it stays just fine, honestly. And I live in Vegas, which is like the driest climate in the country. Um, yeah. I mean, the container that you get it in is usually okay. Where you run into problems is if you get like 50 gram packs or any of the tobaccos, like Nakla comes in a box, you're going to want to try to transfer it to a container like this. It's, it, you're better off that way. Now as far as shelf life goes, uh, a lot of the manufacturers advertise up to two years, but for me, even like, let's say milk for example, I mean the shelf life is say two weeks. I'm, kind of hesitant when I get to that two-week mark, even before then. So, for me, I don't... Actually, you know what? Tobacco's never really lasted more than three to four months in my house without being completely smoked in one way or another by me or not by me. But, yeah, it's... It, it does depend on how often you smoke. So, I mean, the container like that, any of the containers that you're going to get it in, it works just fine. You can double Ziploc it, like I said, but don't take it out of the bag and directly transfer it into the Ziploc, um, and you're going to store it just fine. I mean, there's really not that much method to it. One thing I do want to mention, don't put it in the fridge. I, Even if there's diehard people out there and you think that putting it in the fridge is the right thing to do, it's just not. Uh, it dries out your tobacco. It changes the consistency and the whole chemistry component of of the uh, the molasses just just don't just no fridge ever yeah question number three I appreciate you for watching all my videos that makes me feel nice inside so thank you for that but uh, I guess I'm having a little trouble understanding what, I mean, what, what would the Namor products be competing with? I don't have a brand. I'm not inclined to any brand. Um, I did have the store for a little bit, um, but even that, I wasn't selling my own products or anything like that. I've never made my own products. So I'm not following you there. Maybe I just need to clear that up. I'm not affiliated with anybody. That's it. Um, I... If you've been watching all my videos, then I'm, maybe you followed me to where, when the Hookah Rev site was actually up. Um, but I did do a review on the Namor hose. It wasn't a video, but I did a review on it. Uh, it was my favorite hose at the time when I first got it like five years ago. But obviously there's been other stuff that's better that's come out since then. As far as Roman Tobacco, I did get, I think I tried about five of their flavors. And, well, they were really bad. Uh, I haven't had the motivation to pick any more up. There's, it doesn't seem to be a very prominent brand in the industry, just from what I've seen. Um, and from what I understand, the quality is a little subpar. Not saying that's any reason not to do a video review. It's just the new stuff that gets pumped out, it keeps me busier than to go back and revisit older tobaccos and older brands. Um, again, that's really kind of a cop-out, saying that 
just because they're not, you know, big that I don't review them or whatever. But yeah, I haven't heard very many good things. From those that I've heard good things about, they haven't even tried like the other stuff, the more premium stuff that's out on the market. Um, but yeah, there's to answer the question, there's no conflict by any means um, with Hookah Dashisha, Roman, Namor, whatever, whichever brand, sister brand and company is under there. They make some great products. The Mystique Ice Hose, they make that. I reviewed that, you know. But yeah, Roman Tobacco, mm, I don't know. We'll, maybe I'll revisit it, but I've got a pretty big queue of uh, videos to review. So yeah, that wraps it up for webisode number eight. Uh, check out the Facebook. For those that are active with me on Facebook, there's some stuff going on. So, giveaways. I'm not going to tell you what, because that would defeat the purpose. So, under Facebook, just search hookahrab.com. There's a fan page. Give it a thumbs up um, and follow us. There's actually a really cool prize going on right now. Well, not right now, because right now is the testing one, and I'm giving away 10 high fives. So, but that's just the testing one. But there is going to be a very cool giveaway that's going to be worth your time. So, stay posted on it. And the website is coming back, by the way, to answer that question as well, hookahrab.com. I know it redirects. There's nothing wrong with your browser. It redirects to my YouTube page right now. But, yeah, going to work on the site actually starting tonight, and uh, hopefully get some more content up. I know a lot of you guys liked it. I'm sorry that I took it away. But uh, I'm going to come up with something bigger and better. So, see you guys next time.